Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, it is a cool one here on the mountain this morning. But it is Monday, so it is time to get up, get motivated, and take another step closer to our goals. So I'm out here, as you can see, getting ready to start the day in the building. We have made some progress. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a sneak peek real quick. Bam. That is the shower. Let me change the thing. As you can see, there's the walk-in part. And there's the frame. Uh, just a little sneak peek. I'm going to go ahead and show you all a little bit more details about what I actually got on Black Friday the other day for inside here. Right here is the fan that's going to go inside here in the bathroom area to help circulate the air. I think it's going to look real good. And I got a plug-in one for the cabin. I got the shower liner. I got power, caulking, some stuff for the pecs, the glue. Got some waterproofing paint right there. Ryder, are you playing with a bag this morning? As you can see, old Ryder is right here at the hip. Plus, I got some Portland mix, some sand. And y'all have already seen the concrete and stuff. Yeah, but that is all for this shower. I figured it up. It's actually going to take four dry days to complete this shower. Because I got to do a thin, like, little two-inch concrete part to bring it up to the bottom of the flange. Because as you can see, it's sticking up out of the concrete. The flange is going to set down by about two inches. I got to raise the concrete up to the bottom of the flange. And then I have to put down the rubber membrane, get it all nice and tacked in the corners and going up the wall like it's supposed to. Then I have to do like a dry pack mud to kind of get my slope and stuff that's going to actually come down to the top of the actual drain for the shower. And then I got to let that dry. <clears throat> then I have to throw the thinness, then I have to throw the thin set down and do the tile and then I have to let that dry. Then I have to grout and then let that dry. And then finally I can put the walls on. So yeah, it's going to be pretty much an all week process finishing this shower. But hopefully at the end of the week, I will actually be able to use this shower. We'll see. Um, I did get something in the mail that's going to allow that to happen. I know I've been hinting around about it, but I did have one of those uh, portable uh shower companies reach out to me wanting me to do a video for them and i've got a pretty cool little kit um spoiler alert i've already took three hot showers on come on mountain um i've got it hooked up temporary where i normally shower right now just so i actually have some hot water and let me tell you guys it works amazing it works amazing i cannot tell you how nice it is to take a hot shower here on come on mountain even if it is outside just like normal that is the reason why i am doing the kitchen or the kitchen <laughs> it's monday that is why i'm doing the shower stall right now i will be insulating it behind it and everything else before i put the walls up and all of that i can do that little section without it affecting the rest of the build but i want to go ahead and get the stall itself done that way I can hang that temporary shower up in there and uh, be able to take hot showers while I finish this building. Because we're still a ways away before all the plumbing's hooked up, the siding's on, all the insulation's on and everything. So I just wanted a place that I can actually get out of the wind, get out of the weather, and actually be able to take a shower. And that's going to allow that to happen. So my main goal this week is to get that up and going and in between dry time I'm going to be over here running the mill and trying to get some siding going because I have to put some blocking in there and pour the concrete which take a couple of hours um, but then I should have the rest of the day to start getting some of the cedar that's spread around the property that's been down drying out over here to the sawmill maybe start getting them cut into links and stuff that way tomorrow when i do the dry pack i can jump on the mill 
and mill wood for the siding for the rest of the day. That's the goal and just kind of do that throughout the whole week. That way in between dry times, I'm at least making steps towards the next phase of the project. <sighs> and we had a little accident this weekend. Well, Margarita <laughs> had a little accident this weekend. Uh, and it's kind of put a little hold on things. I'm having to kind of regroup to kind of make things work. But my compressor here got ran over this weekend by Margarita. She was moving my truck from where it sets right there and bringing it over there this weekend so we could load her stuff up to take her to her car. And she actually hit the compressor, flipped it over on its side, and uh, the little valve right here snapped off. which is the valve for you to drain the air out of your tank and stuff and get the condensation out. It's like a little bolt that screws in there and then there's another screw that goes in there like a little wing nut type thing. That's a valve and it broke off. So it ain't that big of a deal. I'm gonna have to uh, get, get one of those uh, tap and die sets and an easy out thing and get that one piece out of there. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the threads where I gotta redo it with the tap and die. And then I got to go online and order a new nut and bolt situation valve little thing for it and put it in. Luckily, it didn't hit the motor. It didn't mess up my tr truck and didn't mess up the motor on the compressor. So could have been worse. Um, she didn't see it. It was raining. It was just one of those things. It was a truly an accident. But, you know, I had to mess with her a little bit. I thought her. That's it. You ain't driving my truck no more. <laughs> you wrecked it in 50 feet. <laughs> but, you know, things like that happen. You can't let it uh, get you down. There ain't no need to get upset about it and all that other stuff. Accidents happen. She felt horrible about it. And uh, I assured her, you know, that it wasn't that big of a deal. It's just a nut and a bolt. Ain't nothing we can't fix. It could have been worse. The motor could have got ran over and all of that. Uh, it ain't that big of a deal. All she did was barely clip it. Um, but the thing about it is, is I was actually using the bathroom and I heard it all happen and I couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> but I do have, this is my old compressor that I picked up when I went to Florida. And it works, but the problem is, is, is I have leaking up under here so it doesn't stop running. So, also in between dry time with all of that, I will be taking that apart and seeing what's going on with that. Uh, the wild child just came. Running down the driveway, no telling where she's been. Eclipse, where you been? Where you been? Huh? Where you been? Uh, she's loving the cold weather, guys. But it will work good enough for me to put the blocking in there so I can keep this uh, process going. I'm just going to have to kind of plug it in and unplug it as I use it for the time being until I got time to actually stop and fix it, which will be this week sometime. I'm thinking it's just maybe some of the taping or something on one of the little threads or something is leaking a little bit or something vibrated loose. I haven't used it in about two years, so, but we'll get it up and going. I did plug it in yesterday just to test it and to see, and I think it'll get us through until I can get the parts for that other one. No big deal. <laughs> She's probably going to be like, I can't believe you told everybody. <laughs> it's okay, boo. It's okay. It happens. Yeah, but I did tell her, I said, I'm going to mess with you about your driving for at least a month, month and a half, something like that. At least until the new year, right? <laughs> yeah, but that's basically... What we got going on, I did start rearranging the uh, cabin last night. Stayed up until about 1.30. Um, I put the Christmas tree up. I'll probably show you all tomorrow. Uh, the living room area is still a little messy in the kitchen area because the thing about it is, is here on the cabin, whenever you're uh, rearranging any room, you pretty much have to destroy the whole cabin because it's such a small space. So I... Uh, I was putting the Christmas tree up and reworking that room where my office used to be. Um, 
putting the refrigerator and freezer in there and also making me a, a little closet in there just because uh the closet uh, getting dressed upstairs just hasn't really been working out that well um it's a tight space up there i'm tall and uh it's a pain in the rump shaker to get dressed every morning so i'm moving it downstairs because it's gonna be a little while before i mess with that room and it's turning out pretty good um, i didn't really know how it was going to work out but as it started coming together i liked it and i needed to rearrange anyways to be able to fit the christmas tree to get a little bit of uh, christmas spirit going on here on the mountain and i accomplished that um i ain't got no ornaments or nothing for the tree but the tree is up and the snowman head is on there and i think it looks pretty cool i like it what are you doing wild child i hear you in there being a wrecking ball you want to say hi oh you want to say hi hey you want to say hi you want to say hi to everybody mm -hmm. you want to say hi but she like and uh I was curious if old Ryder was going to try to climb in the tree last night. He got close to it, and I told him no, and he went away. So we'll see how long it stands up before Ryder decides to kamikaze and jump on it and knock it down. I'm sure it's going to happen. I'm sure it's going to happen. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be a short one today because I need to get back at it over here. I need to go ahead and get these uh, blocking put in and get the first layer of concrete and also the drain itself uh, glued in. That way we can uh, get a shower coming. So y'all got a lot of sneak peeks today. A lot of information. And I can't wait to talk to you guys tomorrow. And I hope everybody's week is an amazing start. Because we are on the countdown to Christmas now, guys. I cannot believe Christmas is only like three weeks away. <laughs> insane. Insane. Until we see each other again, guys. Come on. Hey, keep it real.